Tinbergen's Four Questions, named after Nicolas Tinbergen, are complementary categories of explanations for behavior. It suggests that an integrative understanding of behavior must include both approximate and ultimate analysis of behavior, as well as an understanding of both phylogenetic, developmental history and the operation of current mechanisms. Four categories of questions and explanations. When asked about the purpose of sight in humans and animals, even elementary school children can answer that animals have vision to help them find food and avoid danger. Biologists have three additional explanations. Sight is caused by a particular series of evolutionary steps, the mechanics of the eye, and even the process of an individual's development. Although these answers may be very different, they are consistent with each other. This idea was formulated in the 1960s when Tinbergen delineated the four questions based on Aristotle's four causes. This schema constitutes a basic framework of the overlapping behavioral fields of ethology and anthropology, behavioral ecology, sociobiology and evolutionary psychology, and comparative psychology. It was in fact Julian Huxley who identified the first three questions, Nico Tinbergen gave only the fourth question, but Julian Huxley's questions failed to distinguish between survival value and evolutionary history. So Tinbergen's fourth question helped resolve this problem. Table of Categories Evolutionary Explanations 1 Function Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection is the only scientific explanation for why an animal's behavior is usually well adapted for survival and reproduction in its environment. However, claiming that a particular mechanism is well suited to the present environment is different from claiming that this mechanism was selected for in the past due to its history of being adaptive. The literature conceptualizes the relationship between function and evolution in two ways. On the one hand, function and evolution are often presented as separate and distinct explanations of behavior. On the other hand, the common definition of adaptation, a central concept in evolution, is a trait that was functional to the reproductive success of the organism and that is thus now present due to being selected for, that is, function and evolution are inseparable. However a trait can have a current function that is adaptive without being an adaptation in this sense, if for instance the environment has changed. Imagine an environment in which having a small body suddenly conferred benefit on an organism when previously body size had had no effect on survival. A small body's function in the environment would then be adaptive, but it wouldn't become an adaptation until enough generations had passed to in which small bodies were advantageous to reproduction for small bodies to select it for. Given this, it is best to understand that presently functional traits might not all have been produced by natural selection. The term function is preferable to adaptation because adaptation is often construed as implying that it was selected for due to past function. To evolution Evolution captures both the history of an organism via its phylogeny and the history of natural selection working on function to produce adaptations. There are several reasons why natural selection may fail to achieve optimal design. One entails random processes such as mutation and environmental events acting on small populations. Another entails the constraints resulting from early evolutionary development. Each organism harbors traits, both anatomical and behavioral, of previous phylogenetic stages. Since many traits are retained as species evolve, reconstructing the phylogeny of a species often makes it possible to understand the uniqueness of recent characteristics. Earlier phylogenetic stages and conditions which persist often also determine the form of more modern characteristics. For instance, the vertebrate eye has a blind spot, whereas octopus eyes do not. In those two lineages, the eye was originally constructed one way or the other. Once the vertebrate eye was constructed, there were no intermediate forms that were both adaptive and would have enabled it to evolve without a blind spot. Proximate explanations 3. Causation Proximate causal mechanisms correspond to Aristotle's material cause. 
Some prominent classes of proximate causal mechanisms include the brain. For example, Broca's area, a small section of the human brain, has a critical role in linguistic capability. Hormones. Chemicals used to communicate among cells of an individual organism. Testosterone, for instance, stimulates aggressive behavior in a number of species. Pheromones. Chemicals used to communicate among members of the same species. Some species use pheromones to attract mates. In examining living organisms, biologists are confronted with diverse levels of complexity. They therefore investigate causal and functional relations within and between these levels. A biochemist might examine, for instance, the influence of social and ecological conditions on the release of certain neurotransmitters and hormones, and the effects of such releases on behavior, e.g., stress during birth has a tocolytic effect. However, awareness of neurotransmitters and the structure of neurons is not by itself enough to understand higher levels of neuroanatomic structure or behavior. The whole is more than the sum of its parts. All levels must be considered as being equally important. CF. Transdisciplinarity, Nikolai Hartmann's laws about the levels of complexity for development in the latter half of the 20th century. Social scientists debated whether human behavior was the product of nature or nurture. An example of interaction involves familiarity from childhood. In a number of species, individuals prefer to associate with familiar individuals but prefer to mate with unfamiliar ones. By inference, genes affecting living together interact with the environment differently from genes affecting mating behavior. A homely example of interaction involves plants. Some plants grow toward the light and some away from gravity. Many forms of developmental learning have a critical period, for instance, for imprinting among geese and language acquisition among humans. In such cases, genes determine the timing of the environmental impact. A related concept is labeled biased learning and prepared learning. For instance, after eating food that subsequently made them sick, rats are predisposed to associate that food with smell, not sound. Many primate species learn to fear snakes with little experience. See Developmental Biology and Developmental Psychology causal relationships. The figure shows the causal relationships among the categories of explanations. The left-hand side represents the evolutionary explanations at the species level. The right-hand side represents the proximate explanations at the individual level. In the middle are those processes and products, genes and behavior, both of which can be analyzed at both levels. Evolution, which is determined by both function and phylogeny, results in the genes of a population. The genes of an individual interact with its developmental environment, resulting in mechanisms, such as a nervous system. A mechanism interacts with the individual's immediate environment, resulting in its behavior. Here we return to the population level. Over many generations, the success of the species' behavior in its ancestral environment may result in evolution as measured by a change in its genes. In sum, there are two processes, one at the population level and one at the individual level, which are influenced by environments in three time periods. Examples Vision Four ways of explaining visual perception Function To find food and avoid danger Phylogeny the vertebrate eye initially developed with a blind spot, but the lack of adaptive intermediate forms prevented the loss of the blind spot. Causation. The lens of the eye focuses light on the retina. Development. Neurons need the stimulation of light to wire the eye to the brain. Westermark effect Four ways of explaining the Westermark effect, the lack of sexual interest in one's siblings. Function, to discourage inbreeding, which decreases the number of viable offspring. Phylogeny, found in a number of mammalian species, suggesting initial evolution tens of millions of years ago. Causation, little is known about the neuromechanism. Development, results from familiarity with another individual early in life, especially in the first 30 months for humans. 
The effect is manifested in non-relatives raised together, for instance, in kibbutz. Use of the four-question schema is periodic table. Conrad Lorenz, Julian Huxley and Nico Tinbergen were familiar with both conceptual categories. The tabulation was made by Gerhard Medicus. The tabulated schema is used as the central organizing device in many animal behavior, ethology, behavioral ecology and evolutionary psychology textbooks. One advantage of this organizational system, what might be called the periodic table of life sciences, is that it highlights gaps in knowledge, analogous to the role played by the periodic table of elements in the early years of chemistry. This biopsychosocial framework clarifies and classifies the associations between the various levels of the natural and social sciences and it helps to integrate the social and natural sciences into a tree of knowledge, especially for the social sciences. This model helps to provide an integrative, foundational model for interdisciplinary collaboration, teaching and research. Notes Carrot Daly, M. and Wilson. Sex, Evolution, and Behavior. Brooks Cole. Carrot Ladke. And Havlicek. Was Tinbergen an Aristotelian? Comparison of Tinbergen's Four Wise and Aristotle's Four Causes. Human Ethology Bulletin, 28, 3-11. Carrot P411 in Tinbergen, Nico, on Aims and Methods in Ethology, Zeitschrift für Psychology, 20, 410-433. Carrot Nicholas Tinbergen. Carrot Nicholas Tinbergen. Ethology. Cartwright 2010. Bus 2004 to 12. Carrot Nicholas Tinbergen. Carrot. Phylogeny often emphasizes the evolutionary genealogical relationships among species as distinct from the categories of explanations. Although the categories are more relevant in a conceptual discussion, the traditional term is retained here. Carrot, biased learning, is not necessarily limited to the developmental period.